Hello, this is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. All right, guys, so I received in the mail some gifts from the spiritual supplier, and I was going to open them with you guys. Um, this one I actually was like kind of already a little opened, but um, this is um, Sacred Bath. Okay, so uh, plants, sweet and bitter. Basically, these medicinal plants are magically combined to generate changes and miracles in your life, um, closing unfinished cycles, removing blockages, releasing and stripping you of all bad energy that is within you, um, deactivating all evil against you. For each bath, boil the contents of the bag in one gallon of water for 10 minutes, then strain the plants after and after bathing regularly with your soap normal, uh, with like a normal bath, take the lukewarm water and pour it all over your body allowing the skin to absorb without drying so that the medicines of the plants penetrate well and take effect so these baths can be repeated for the best results one week away so i can do this like once a, once a week um and so the first bath is seven plants bitter bath and the second bath is seven seven plants sweets so um prepared to eliminate the first one is the the bitter one it eliminates all negative energy um, for this they should do it at night by pouring it from the head down decreasing forcefully at the moment with and then and with character being in that act and moment discarding all the bad closing negative cycles of the past canceling injustices against him renouncing pain and erasing all pain and defeat because God all powerful allows these seven plants to manifest the miracle of restoring my full health happiness and economic success in the name of Jesus amen and then the sweets is prepared to restore your positive energy for this you should do it in the day by turning it in from the feet upwards declaring the moment in a loving way and with joy being in that uh, act and moment invoking everything well in your life opening your ways of love fortune and happiness restoring your health spiritual plants all the light of God and his power um, so this one here is the bitter one so I do this at night pour it on my head down this one is during the day pour it from my feet up and this is um, like after my regular bath I'm gonna have this in a pot somewhere that I would keep separate from the bath water and I would strain it and everything so you don't clog your toilet I mean clog your toilet clog your um your bathtub and um, this is gonna get rid of all negative stuff so this is actually funny because um, I've actually been having some stuff go on that I'm like pretty sure that some people have been doing shit and is happened to me before and I used to not believe in that like you know I used to I knew that people do shit and I know people have bad intentions and they, they do their little things against you and whatever but I never really like believed in it because I don't think I ever had anybody powerful enough that actually stuck with anything that came through but then some shit I mean obviously I'm reaching a lot more people now so there's gonna be some people out there that maybe don't like me and uh, have some negative energies and then you know combine all of those people together and it's going to get worse and worse. But I've been having some stuff happen this week, seeing some stuff, um, like physical stuff. And when you see physical stuff, it's like, oh, shit. Like, yeah, there's probably some bad shit around. Like, I, I should probably do something about that. So um, that's perfect to be here at this time, which I find every time something comes to me is perfectly aligned to what's going on in my life. Like the um, book that I got, which was The Moons by the rich, like the rituals for the moon every month. That was right when I was planning on making the membership that I did. So every month we use that book uh, and do a different ritual out of it according to like the moons and stuff. So I always know whatever's coming to me from people who have good intentions, um, it's good, good stuff. Okay, so let's see what else we have in here. We have chakra stones. Oh, wow. So these are cool. Hollywood chakra stones clean your aura. And they have the little stones on them from each of the chakras. So, uh, root here, sacral, um, uh, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and crown. Um, let's see. So, uh, purifies the aura, creates a positive environment, rejects all negative energy, uh, envy, and break the bad vibes. So, this is perfect. I already have these, but I don't have them with the stones on them. 
um, this is like Palo Santo or Hollywood and Palo Santo I use like a lot of it let me show you guys <laughs> shit Ugh. see bad stuff keep happening to me um, <laughs> bad stuff man it's all over the place all right so I've got these right here and um, this is my like my place but if you look in here oh I oh you know what I took them all out because I needed to use this for something to burn and I didn't want them all in there for that but even so like I just emptied this out of probably like 20 of these or 30 of these um, just like the little ends when you get down to the point where it's like you can't burn anymore like this is like all right like you're gonna start burning your fingers so these ones are all ones that I've done since then of emptying this it's only been like a month or two so I use this all the time um, I usually order it you know like in a bag of a pound and then um, I go through a lot every time I'm gonna do something I cleanse the energy every time I do a meditation or activation or whatever I use these so um, obviously these are good things to have now uh, it, this is like whenever something like this comes to me though and it has like a stone on it I'm like oh it's so pretty I don't want to use it I'm gonna keep it forever and ever and and just like you know it's gonna be a decorative thing so I'm gonna try to use them and then let's see what's in here um, it's taped and it feels oh, okay there's another level I'm like it felt like something that could rip and I didn't want it to rip what is in here so they said they appreciate me um, and my participation as an official spiritual supplier ambassador they hope they enjoy the products and share um, the joy of using them with others and attract the good energies and thank you for the work that you do wholeheartedly blessed and glorified life has connected us in this beautiful way and we deeply appreciate your support of our brand have a blessed life and thank you for now being a part of us we look forward to continuing to collaborate this is just the beginning of this journey together more great things are to come and they say if you have any questions or any doubt please get in touch with us so thank you very much spiritual suppliers they're in los angeles california and um i will put their links down below for the ig and facebook and you can email them or visit them at spiritualsupplier.com now this is a selenite plate and um this is got the like engraving in it so this is really really cool um so this is like this is selenite so selenite cleanses and clears and charges and like it's the it's one of the stones that you don't need to do anything to this like you don't have to charge it you know my, most stones they kind of need to be charged up again like you can do energy on them you can put them under the moon put them under the sun um you can give them a bath like put them in salt water you can um there's so many different things you could do with them but this is actually really good because what this does is it, say this stone right here is like oh, i'm not very charged up anymore or you used it in a healing session and you extracted something out of somebody that's really nasty and now it's in here you can cleanse and charge it up with this plate so that's why i love selenite i have a lot of it um I actually have a bunch of these that I'm going to be posting soon, but these are like the palm stones and they actually are named Selenite. They're connected to the goddess Selene. Um, like think of Selene and Selenite is connected to the moon. So the goddess Selene is the goddess of the moon. Selene is connected to the moon. Selenite is connected to the moon. I actually have some big monsters right here. Um, that it, this is actually a little bit different from the traditional selenite selenite and um what is the name of this i can't think of the name of it for some reason my brain doesn't work as well as it used to but these are actually they're very much the same thing it's salt water that has been turned into this like a stone um they have them in uh, like Mexico in these big huge caves under the ground they're just huge huge pieces of it selenite itself is usually very thin and see-through um, and then there's these that are like you they're more they're more solid and they're a little bit more milky colored for some reason I can't think of the name of it in the top of my brain but I will write it down in the description box below for those of you because I know I'm gonna think of it as soon as I um, turn this off so let's see what the last thing is here i want to say buse bar and it's not that's a medicine um what the hell is the name of it it's like something b or something in there it's 
the same thing as selenite. It's just not like the traditional selenite. All right, so this, I'm not sure the type of stone it is, but it looks like an agate. So um, it's got like a purpley color to it. Usually the agates come, come like that. And I can see like the little lines that an agate would have, you know, like an agate was like the ones that like when you break a stone and you see all the lines and stuff inside of it and they're all multicolored. Um, this I think is an agate, but I'm not 100% sure, but it's very pretty and it is wire wrapped. So somebody took the time to wrap this and they did a really good job because that's probably really hard to do with um, putting that, that symbol on there. And, um, you know, not, like I've tried to do wire wrapping one time <laughs> and it was so hard. Like I was, uh, it was like cramping the um, wire itself because I had a really thin piece like this and it was like, it would like bend it and then you could see the bend in it so I don't know how people do this so well um, I'm a little OCD so I don't think it would be the best job for me to do because it would probably take me four days to just do like one line <laughs> but this is really nice and I feel like this is very protective um, you know and I think it connects with the different elements like earth air fire water spirit um, yeah and I I don't know the actual color um, what name stone it is, but I will look up and see if I can find one that sticks out to me. Sometimes spirit will direct me right to what I need to see. Like when I Google something, they'll be like, boop, there it is. I'm like, oh, thank, thanks spirit. So I will try to do that and see if it works for me tonight. Maybe if I told you people, they're not going to let that happen, but we never know. So yeah, so I've got some holy wood, I've got some selenite to charge my crystals, I've got this nice protective pendant, and i got this, which I'm definitely going to use, I'm going to do the night one tonight, because I've got to take a shower anyways, and I have had some scary shit going down. Um, I actually took screenshots of stuff, because it was in something I recorded recently, I could see stuff all around me in the recording, so I was like, oh my god, like, that's not cool, and it was just not like high vibe stuff. I could tell the difference between like the high vibe peeps being around and then the, you know, energies of not such good intentions coming around. So we'll clear those away and hopefully I'll feel better because I haven't been feeling that great since having that energy around. And um, I can use this to protect me, cleanse me and do all good things. And I will put their stuff um, information so you can connect with them and go check out all of the wonderful things that they have. They have a lot of stuff at their website and you can go get your protection and good stuff for you. Okay, guys, so thank you guys very much, Spiritual Supplier Store. I appreciate you sending all of this, and I can't wait to use it. In Renee, namaste.